What's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash Dark. So today is update day for Town Hall 13 and Supercell just announced two major tournaments coming up in the next two months and that has prompted me to drive my base to max as quick as possible. We're going to see how close I can get to max on the first day of the update. All right guys, we're going to talk about all that. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this. All right, guys, it is time to go to Town Hall 13. We have been stockpiling magic items. We're at max capacity or more of our potions, our books, our ruins, our uh, hammers. I guess I can't really go over max capacity on those. So instead of going over max capacity on those, we made sure that we bought those hammer at least a week in advance there. So when we go to our league shop here, all of our other hammers are off cooldown. So as soon as we spend those ones, we can buy another. And we have 1,500 tokens here to work with. So. The town hall here we are very close to going up in our gold pass here to a higher discount so i think we're going to be able to just go and gem that right now because i don't want to waste any of the loot there and we're going to need it anyways once we get there because i have a massive amount of gold elixir and dark elixir i see there are 50 million 32 million and 1.3 million so i think we're ready to go now so let's go to town hall 13. boom okay and now let's book it and give us that instant advance. We're not going to use a hammer. We're going to use a book so I can have my hammers for more expensive upgrades. All right, guys, we're Town Hall 13. Let's go on an upgrade frenzy here and blow all these magic items and all this loot. Guys, I'm about to do something crazy, and you might think, why would you spend all this money on a mobile game? Well, I've got a really good reason for it. So... Look in the shop here, and we have a crazy amount of deals. We got Winter Jam, Winter Clearance, Icy Darkest, Lucky 13, Golden Scoop. Everything must go, and everything seems like it needs to go. And I did the calculations here, and I think with the packs that I already got for Black Friday to get ready for this, if I buy all of these packs here for, it's about 230 or $240, then... I'll be able to get very close to maxing out my base and I'll line myself up to be able to be max before the end of January. So what's in the end of January? Well, yesterday Supercell announced the Town Hall 13 Cup Tournament. So to be competitive in that, the people who are close to max is going to be almost like a pay to win kind of tournament or pay to play. So it's going to be like an entry fee here, but it's got a $65,000 prize. And if they send the team out to pull and I could get a free trip out of it too. So I think it's definitely worth it to be able to gem this to invest in that. And on top of that, in February, they're starting season two of the world championship qualifiers. And so that will be another million dollar prize pool, very similar to what they did last year. So we need to be able to get our teams into those tournaments. And I think this is going to be a barrier of entry is going to be the upgrade time. So we are going to buy all of these packs here and I know we can do it. We won the North American Mobile Open twice, and we won third place in season two of the North American Open, and we've sent teams to Poland already multiple times. So I know we can do this, and it's going to be an investment that is worth it, and we'll make it back just in prize money. For my teams that went to the ESL Mobile Open, we won over $20,000 of prize money in just the ESL Mobile Open, not including what the teams that went to Poland got. So I think $230 or $240 plus the 70 or whatever that I spent on Black Friday, $300 is a massive investment to make a lot more money. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're a pro esports team and we need to go play and earn money for our team here so we can continue doing what we're doing. All right, guys, the first thing I need to do before I buy any of these packs here, though, is I need to go into my settings tab and I need to go all the way down to the bottom and where it says support a creator, you type in code Eric here. And that is one thing that you can do that doesn't cost you any money that you can do to show your support for the channel here. And and it makes so that 5% of any purchase that you make, uh, it goes to the channel instead of all going to Supercell. So it's like giving a tip to a person who's giving you a show, which is exactly what we do. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd use code Eric. All right, guys, let's go get these packs. So we're going to buy it all. We're going to do it right now. Here we go. And we're going to upgrade everything. There's one. Where to go? Oh, a, holy cow. Look how much loot I have. Two and a half million. Two and a half million dark elixir. And we're going to keep on piling more. Let's go. 
And there we go. We got the winner clearance. And now let's grab... Oh, just got to pile that in too. <laughs> I hope it'll let me buy them all. I hope it'll let me buy them all. Here we go. Oh, I guess I got to confirm it now. Confirm. Capitals? Confirmed. All right, there we go. There we go. Let's keep going. Whoop. <laughs> there we go. Three million Dark Elixir. And we're picking up Ruins of Dark Elixir as well. So with the storage capacity of 300,000 at Town Hall 13, all those runes are going to convert to a lot more. We probably have close to four and a half or five million Dark Elixir right now. So let's keep going. And we got to get all these small packs too. All these books are going to keep adding up there. Holy cow, 122 million gold, and we're still going. All right, two more to go. Everything must go is the next pack here, and we're not kidding, guys. Everything must go. There we go. And the final one is going to give me a few buildings as well. So this last one is the Town Hall 13 pack. That's the only one that doesn't expire. And it is still a five times value and it's going to give me five hero levels on my Royal Champion right away there and give me a scatter shot. So let's grab that. Woo, all right, all right, we got them all. We got them all. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we need to drop the Royal Champion here. Let's find a spot for her. Where's she gonna go? Where's she gonna go? We're gonna throw her right down here and we have an instant level five royal champion right there. And uh, oh my God, look how much loot. I haven't even taken a screenshot of that. Jesus. All right, all right. And I need to grab a screenshot of this too. We need this for a thumbnail. 20 book of heroes and 12 Book of building here. This is nuts, guys. This is absolutely nuts. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. So now we need to start spending it. Oh, we also need to place this scatter shot. So let's uh, drop that out right there. There we go. There we go. We got our scatter shot. All right. So now we need to start with the dark elixir storage because I need to make sure that I have maximal. Uh, Dark Elixir storage capacity here. So we need to first we're going to upgrade that and I'm not going to use any kind of gems or anything like that. I'm going to just upgrade it and I'm going to use a book of building on it. And I'm also going to upgrade my laboratory wherever it is. We're going to upgrade the lab right there. So we will use uh, Elixir on that and we will upgrade that with a book of building as well. Last thing that I want to cover right now before we dive into the heroes here is I'm going to use a hammer on the clan castle because that is a 18 day upgrade discount a little bit there from my gold pass. Oh crap. Before I uh, spend all that, before I spend all that, we need to do something else here because now that I have all this loot here, it's going to be way more worth it for me to have this 20% builder boost. Is there a 30% on here? There's not. So we need to, we need to get this. So gem that, gem that, all the way to the 20% here and the 20% research. Make sure I have enough here. I think I have enough gems. Okay. So claim that and claim that and claim that and claim that and we'll grab the wall rings too. All right. So now I should have done that before I uh, dropped the... The other two buildings there, but they were relatively cheap there, so we're not going to lose on too much there. I'm mainly concerned about that dark elixir. So let's do my queen next. So we're going to upgrade her and we will use book of heroes on her. So we'll upgrade her again. We'll use a book of heroes. We'll upgrade her again. And we're just going to push her all the way to max. So level 69, go. Book, go. And final level, level 70. Okay. Last book. So that used a big chunk of it. So now do I want to do my king or do I want to use my uh, royal champion? I think I'm going to do the royal champion next and I'm going to drive her up a few levels here. And let's let's do that. So we'll send her down. We will. Uh, oh, how much is it's only two days here. So I think I'm going to buy a couple gems here because the cost of the Royal Champion here is less than I would normally spend on a book builder from the trader. So I think I'm going or book of heroes. I mean from the trader. So I think I'm going to buy a couple gems here and we're going to upgrade her with gems for these first couple levels instead of the books. 
All right, so we're just going to pick up a sack of... We're just going to get a small one here. I'm not going to go too crazy with this. And that'll get me through the first couple levels here. So just until it is more worth it to uh, get the gems instead of using the books. So, all right. So that'll take care of this level. And we will upgrade her again. And it will use gems again. And going again. So now we're starting to go past the uh, the normal cost of what you spend on a book of heroes. So we'll keep going. And uh, I could do gems again, but we're going to start using book of heroes now. So keep going. And we're just going to keep on going. We're going to drive her as high as we can get her until we run out of books or we run out of dark elixir. And I have a whole bunch of things to restore Dark Elixir. And so we're going to get a lot more out of that. So keep on going. We're down to a million Dark Elixir now. And costs are starting to ramp up here. So things are getting expensive. We're up to level 13. 14. 15. How high can we go? How high can we go? 16. 17 before I run out of my dark elixir. So that was a pretty good stretch there. We have a 300,000 capacity right now, and I have got uh, 27,000 sitting in my storage right now. So we're not at a point right now where we can do another level. So I think we're going to use our rune of dark elixir here. We're going to lose out on 45,000 right there, and we're just going to have to eat that cost there, is what I'm thinking. But I got five rune of dark elixir here. And actually, what can I do with hammers here? I got, I'm at level 17 right now, so we can do one more level. I'm going to use a Rune of Dark Elixir here because I am kind of a, un, a, not, a, kind of a bad number here. And I probably should have managed that a little bit better there to make so I depleted that further. But we'll, we'll just cut our losses there. Let's uh, use a Rune of Dark Elixir. Go back to 300,000. And let's do another level on her. Oh, it's only 200,000. Only 200,000. Or 208,000. So, how much is my king? How much is my king in comparison to that? So, my king is up here. And he cost 200,000. Alright, so we'll do the raw champion here. We'll send her another level. And we will... Oh, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep on booking her and use the hammers on the king? That's, that's what I'm trying to debate here. So I have five more books here, and I still need to get my Grand Warden up as well. So uh, maybe I should have used more gems. <laughs> maybe I should not have used all of my books. So we're going to stop with her right there. We're going to stop her with her right there, and we're going to work on my Warden. And I need to at least get a few levels out of him. And then I, I got everything within five levels of max there. So I have some... Uh, I got some... What do you call it? I got some hero potions that I can use to push everything to max to get the king to max for a while. So let's do the warden next here. And I have a 16,000 capacity right now. So let's go warden. And uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, I figured it out. So what I'm going to do is collect my treasury here. And... We're going to stop on Dark Elixir here for a little bit. I have more that I can use towards my king there, but I want to not waste any more like I did on that last level there. Probably shouldn't have done that. Wasted 45,000, and I'm going to farm up a little bit there, and then I'm going to pump some more into my king there. So we're going to get him pushing towards max there, and we will get my Royal Champion as well moving as soon as possible towards max. But I did want to get my lab moving as well here. So we do, before we get the lab going on elixir research here since i don't want to spend all of my elixir on this i want to uh i still want to get my storages upgraded as well so we're not going to do the warden all at once right now so what i'm going to do is use a uh hammer of fighting on my hog riders here and then we're going to use a uh, maybe i should do the hammer on the royal champion i should push it to max right now shouldn't i no, I should do my king. I should do my king because I can push the last two levels on her relatively quick. So two weeks. I can wait. it. I can wait it out. I can wait it out. All right. So we're going to use the. We're going to we need to buy another 
hammer here. So let's get another hammer of fighting. And let's get another research here. So I have about 13 million elixir right now. So we're going to we're gonna get a research here. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do the balloons as my next one here. So we'll grab the balloons because those are gonna be awesome for farming. And they're one of my most used farming troops there. So we will use a hammer of building on that or hammer of a uh, fighting I mean and then I also want to get some before I actually start a regular research I want to get some hammer of spells moving as well so let's do a couple spells here we're gonna get the heal spell to support my hogs and we'll buy another one and we will get the other spell I think it's just the skeleton spell so just get that out of the way there and boom all right so that takes care of all that and now I can uh, buy the uh, all I have left is the hammer of building, which we're going to get into that as we get all of our builders moving here in a second. And then I can get another hammer of heroes. And I do need to use something on a hammer of heroes. Uh, we're going to... Guys, I think I need to do my king. I need to do my king so that I can get the cooldown. I need to do at least one level on my king here. So we're going to do that. We're going to do a level on... No, we're going to do my Grand Warden. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. I can't decide. But we're def... Well, we need to do that, first of all. Uh, a million. Oh, man. This is, a, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. I don't know what to do. It's so hard to decide how to do this exactly right there's so much loot here to spend guys it's absolutely crazy i'm just gonna use it on my i'm just gonna use it on my world champion i'm just gonna go all right it's done i can't take it back now i can't take it back now we will get that last level of the royal champion and i'm going to use the rest of my hammers on the warden and the king there later in the week here so well, I don't have to do them all later in the week there because I can do my other research now. So I'm going to start a research on E-Drags here. That's going to be 12 days. So that will take up all of my gold here. And that's exactly what it is. Or not my gold, my, uh, my elixir here. And that's what I was looking for for that. And then I'll get some more research going next week here. And maybe some more good packs there will pop up as we get closer to Christmas and New Year's. I don't know. Maybe I might have to get a couple more here. But I think we're off to a solid start here. And I think next, what we need to do is... Pick up the Heather Hammer Heroes. And we're just going to hold on to that one for now. We're just going to hold on to it so I can use it more efficiently. And we're going to use another... Ruin of Elixir and top that off there and we're going to do another level on my Warden here. So we'll get him down and now we're sitting at five or four million I mean and we can get a barracks moving as well. So we're going to start a barracks upgrade. So we're completely depleted of Elixir here and now we can start working on gold. All right, guys, so we have 131 million gold here to spend. So a massive amount here. And I have three more builders, which I need to bump that up to four. So let's uh, get my master builder over here where he's supposed to be. He needs to be on the main base. Get over to the main base there, master builder. You have no reason to be on the night base right now. All right, so now we have six builders here to work with. And I've got two busy right now. One work on that Grand Warden and... We'll, uh, maybe we'll just let that one right out there. No, I, look at that. Look at that. I've depleted my elixir again. So I can actually jet, uh, book that and do another level right now. We can, uh, put another ruin in here. And boom. There we go. Now my ground warden can go up another level. All right. We're making some good progress. We're making good progress here, guys. It's crazy, but we're making good progress. Okay, so we will let him ride out that level and we'll just go farm. But I don't want to use any more Rune of Elixirs, guys. I have a few more, but we're going to hold on to them and wait until I have some levels done on my Elixir storages. So we will get some storages going here at the end, and those are going to be the things that we actually waited out for. So the things that we need to get right now is we need to get our new traps here and our new scatter shot. So we'll add that scatter shot. Oh, add that scatter shot, and we will get the other traps as well. And we can 
gem those or I'm gonna book those and then I'm going to immediately send them to level two and book that as well. So here's our new traps, new uh, small bomb, new seeking air mine, and we're done with that. Now let's send this book to send this to Max and we will upgrade it and we will use a book of building on it. All right, so this one again, it's level two, book of building. All right, so scatter shots are done. Those are big defenses. We need to get the Eagle Artillery up next. Oh, I need to get my uh, my Clan Castle. So that's, I decided that is going to be one of the biggest, most expensive upgrades. And so is the Eagle Artillery, really. So we're going to use a hammer on this and we will buy the other hammer here. And uh, we will use that on the Eagle Artillery because those are both 18 million gold upgrades. So we'll grab that. And boom, we got those done. Now keep on going here. We have next is my Infernos. Infernos, very expensive as well. So we will grab that. We'll use a book of building. We will use that. Grab a book of building. Next Inferno up here. Boom, book of building. And we're down to 51 million gold. So starting to deplete it a little bit, but we've got a lot more to go here. So we uh, still want to grab these Expos. Expos are the next expensive thing on the base here after the Town Hall. Do I want to do the Town Hall first or do I want to do the Expos? Let's see. Town Hall does 25 damage per second per level. Expos add 20. We're doing the Town Hall. We're doing the Town Hall. All right. So Town Hall, book, Town Hall, book, Town Hall, book, Town Hall, book. We're pushing this weapon to max. All right. So... I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave the last one working. I don't need to use a book on the last one, them. So let's deplete this. I need to empty that out anyways. So that gives me 10 million. And I probably have some sin up in this. So there's another 200,000. Do I have any more? Oh yeah, my gold pass, my gold pass. I can get it off my gold pass. All right, so we can grab more gold out of here. Where we got, where we got? We got a million there and a million, or 500,000 there. And that's it, okay. So, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's grab an expo. Oh, I'm so short. I'm just short. However, I think I'm just going to do the last level on the town hall. I only have one more book of building. So, we're just going to let this one go out because this is a really long upgrade. It's the final level, and my base is going to be relatively weak if I don't have that town hall, and I'm going to start losing loot to people attacking me. And I'd like to have that max level one for war as well. Now we have all the rest of our loot here, and I think we need to pour all of that into storage upgrades. So we're going to upgrade all of our storages here, and that is pretty much where we're going to stop. I think that's where we're going to stop for now. I'm going to conserve the rest of my magic items for later. And we can do one gold storage as well. And there we go. So, was that crazy or what? <laughs> Let's see how much progress we made, guys. Overall, my profile, we have... We didn't get any king levels, but we got five levels on the queen. We got two levels on the warden. And we got 19... 19... 19 levels on the Royal Champion. One level away from Max. Just kidding. No levels. Oh, that's 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 not the right thing. But I'm down my warden. And I feel like I need to wake him up now because I don't have him for war. Uh yeah. Yeah, we're gonna wake him up. <laughs> Oh, wait, now, now I can do my Royal Champion. There we go. Guys, problem solved. I fixed it. We have a level 20 Royal Champion. Oh, I had to fight myself there for it. I had to fight myself for it, but we're good. We have one builder freed up here, and we'll just use that to start upgrading these new traps here. And there we go. We have one day now. All of that loot expended, and we will reassess and then we'll continue spending magic items here to continue pushing to max but we made some incredible progress here and now i can concentrate on getting the last few defenses and start to push those hundred walls up a six million gold or elixir a piece there they're gonna take a little while and what is that 600 million yeah that's a lot of gold <laughs> that's a lot of gold all right guys 
That was absolutely nuts. Let's look at my progress base here and then we will call this video here. So my progress base kicking off here. We finished the first row. We uh, didn't even get the Royal Champion dropped on my progress map here before we finished her. We have the scatter shots done. We have the traps that need to go added over here and there. And we have we have the storages. We have one under construction there. We have one barracks that is on its way up. And we have our Inferno's Eagle Town Hall all done. We just have to work on now our Expos, our Wizard Towers, Air Defenses, and Teslas. And then we can start on the cannons. So there's still a lot here to go here, guys. But we got the bulk of it. And we're going to be able to play in the competitive leagues here. And actually be able to play at the highest level. So I think we're going to be ready to go come time for the Town Hall 13 Cup Tournament and then definitely ready to go when we get to the Town Hall 12 Cup Tournament or Town Hall no that's not what I meant to say but when we get to the World Championship Qualifiers for Season 2 alright guys that was absolutely nuts oh one thing before we go before we go do not forget if you guys are going to do anything crazy like this go into your settings tab and type in code ERIC into your creator boost here. That's, that'll help support the channel here. It doesn't cost you anything. It's just a way to give back a little bit to the content creators for all the hard work that we do. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much, and good luck at Town Hall 13. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.